What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger, and today we're gonna fillet up the most overrated fish in South Florida. Let's go. Hogfish have these gnarly teeth that they use for eating shellfish and crustaceans. They're often called hog snapper instead of hog fish, but they're actually not a snapper. They're in the RAS family, and the diet's completely different and just totally, completely different family from snapper. All right, so flaying up your hogfish, you know, this is your favorite fish in the whole wide world, even though you haven't tried all the fish in the world. So you wanna make sure that you get all of the meat off your hogfish, and here's how you do it. We're gonna puncture underneath the pectoral fin, and we're gonna slide down. Wipe the scales off your knife. Then we're gonna take that opening and slide all the way down behind the head. We're gonna use the tip of our knife and go right at that opening. Now notice how my knife is almost at 180 degree angle. My knife is not like this. It is a lot harder to make your line with your knife like this than it is like this. You get a nice smooth glide when your knife is at that elongated angle. All right, wipe those scales off. Now you can rest your knife right on top of the skeleton and pull towards the head. So you wanna make sure your knife is resting on the skeleton gently and just let the skeleton guide your knife. It makes filleting fish super easy when you let that skeleton guide your knife. Once you get to the center of the fish, tip of the knife, base of the ribs, angle it slightly up, make sure your knife blade isn't floating. You want your knife resting on the skeleton, angle it slightly up, and what you just did is you separated the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. Now you can lift harder on your fillet without tearing any of the meat. Stick the tip of your knife on the second side. And now we wanna gently run over those rib bones. And then once you're over the rib bones, you can go ahead and separate your fillet. Hogfish are a little weird. They've got this pocket of meat here that completely separates. That's not a tear from filleting. You can see it almost looks like a cheek, the way it peels apart and how smooth that is with all that sinew in there. It is a super bizarre thing and I really don't see it in a lot of fish. All right, flip it over, pick up the fin, go behind the head at an angle, slide all the way down, tip of the knife right at that opening. We're gonna slide right down. We're gonna rest our knife right on top of the skeleton and you can go slow with this. Just make sure your knife is being guided by the skeleton so that way you don't lose any of your hogfish meat. Tip of the knife, base of the ribs, angle it slightly up and separate the connection the pin bones make to the ribs. That way you can ride down those rib bones without putting the ribs in your fillet. Another trick you can do is pull the fillet towards you and then separate it and there you go. All the rib bones are right here, not in our fillet. And now you guys, don't forget, this is the most precious fish in the ocean, so we don't wanna waste it. So we're gonna go ahead and rip that head off. And there's a little bit of meat in those collars you don't wanna lose out on. And growing up, my dad is a commercial spear fisherman, and we ate a lot of hogfish growing up. The skeleton battered and deep fried was my favorite part. Those fins turn into potato chips, absolutely love it. So if you haven't tried frying your hogfish skeleton, you definitely want to try that out. It's awesome. Hogfish have some bizarre bones in them. Not only does it have this weird flap of meat behind the head, there are some hidden bones right here and it is next to impossible to take them out while keeping this little bit of meat right here. They're so small you can't even see them, but it cuts down all the way to the skin those little bones are inside of that. And we got them all here, but it's just, it's a kind of a, a weird thing. That's not something you see in uh, just about any other fish. So we got all of that belly meat going over the ribs, but on hogfish, that's full of bone still, even though you went over the ribs. It's kind of interesting. All right, skinning your hogfish. Now, a lot of fish, when I skin it, I start at a hard angle like this, then I flatten my knife out, so that way I can leave a little bit of the blood on the skin. Hogfish, part of why everyone likes them is that there is no blood on that fish. So you can actually have your knife at a hard angle all the way down, and you have zero blood on your hogfish fillet, even though you scrape the skin. That is pretty wild. Like, how does this thing even survive without blood in it? I don't know. 
look, man, I'm not a marine biologist. I'm just a fishmonger that enjoys good, fresh fish. All right, so we're gonna start at a hard angle, get a knife in there, get a good grip on that skin, and make sure you're scraping that skin close because there's no bloodline on this fish. And if you want, you can use your skin as you take away the bone, so that way you're not resting your filet on the table that's got scales or blood or guts or anything like that on it. We're outlining the pin bones right now, getting as close to those pin bones as we can, so that way we can just pick up that pin bone line, make it paper thin, so that way we don't lose any of that precious hogfish meat. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna use our finger, find the last pin bone, and we're gonna go an inch past it and make an incision. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side, pick up that pin bone line, and separate. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but the angle that those bones go down is at an angle. So if you find the last pin bone line and you go straight down, the chance of you leaving a little bit of a bone fragment at the bottom is good. So we go past it, so that way there's no chance of leaving any fragments of bone left in our filet. So that way we have two beautiful, completely boneless, skinless hogfish filets. And you guys, this is absolutely phenomenal fish. If you haven't had hogfish before, it, it is a delicacy, it is delicious, and if you have had hogfish before and you think it's your favorite fish in the whole wide world, uh, I hope I didn't offend you. It is a good fish. Enjoy, you guys. Have a killer day.